Hey, welcome to a, another vlog. So this one I think is gonna be split across two days because tomorrow it's quite late in the day now, but I'm doing an event this evening. So I, my friend Sarah has got like a pop-up in a shop in town in Margate and she's allowed to use the space for events and stuff as well so I jumped at the chance and I was like let's do a little panel talk uh, so this evening we're doing a panel talk and it's called Fi about finding your personal style so we're going to be chatting all about that um, and I'm really excited about it uh, I'm not really thinking about it too much because I thought if I, I think if I overthink it I might start to get a little bit nervous but it should be pretty relaxed so we've got some We've got some sponsors for it, so we've got some lovely drinks and some snacks for everyone turning up. And I think there's going to be about 14 people, which is a nice number. Um, so I'm just getting ready for that now, and I thought I'd like to vlog it. I thought that'd be nice to vlog it, so I'm just going to top up my makeup because I've been filming all day, day today. And going to top up my makeup and then decide what I'm going to wear. I think I know what I'm going to wear, but um, actually probably the dress that you saw me in last week's vlog. So sorry, that's a little bit boring for you, but um, I just, you know me, I like to get my wear out my clothes. So I am an outfit repeater and outfit repeating is cool. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Have I got anything else to fill you in on while? I mean, we'll chat while I do makeup, but... You're not in the best position and I can't bother to go and get my big tripod from downstairs so maybe I can balance you on. I'll balance you on my crates, actually. <laughs> Getting behind the scenes action here. Um, but I need to see the mirror, so. So I think I'm just, I mean, I haven't got any foundation on or anything. I'm just gonna, will I put any on? I don't think so. The only thing I like to cover up is like my pores on my nose are a little bit, are very visible. So I do like to cover them up sometimes with a bit of, And I sometimes get red as well, so if I'm embarrassed or a bit flustered, I might get a bit red. So maybe I should put something on. I might put on my. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna do some, we're gonna do a base. We're gonna do some base. So I'm gonna use the strobe cream, the Mac strobe cream under on the bottom to get some. Moisture, oh, a bit much there. Let's put that back in. Um, so I always use, which isn't really a foundation to be honest, this. Forever Skin Glow, which is a Dior, Dior one that I was gifted. Um, not gifted actually, I worked on a campaign with them, so I always use that, but I might mix it with a little bit of concealer, because then we'll get like the coverage over the cheeks, over my red, red cheeks. <laughs> um, and this scarring round here from spots, which is just like nice, isn't it? It's nice of them to show up there. Apparently hormonal. It's so annoying that they scar. Um, this smells really nice. It's 
smells a bit like sun cream. It has got SPF in it. Which, I'm just going to rub this in on my fingers. Okay. The only issue is like, once you, obviously once you decide to do base, it's then you've got to go the whole hog, because otherwise you look dead. Like a ghost. <laughs> so I'm going to add a little bit of blusher and stuff to my cheeks. I mean, I've got a lot else to do because I'm very, I'm ready. Early. So, you know. I know I said I don't want to be red and then I'm adding blusher, but it's colour in the right places. Do you know what I mean? So, like, I don't want to be like red here. Then I'm going to use this um, MAC contour palette that I've got, which I don't really know how to use. It's got a lot of things in there that I'm like, should I be using that? But I basically put the dark one here. I feel like I should do one side and then I can actually see if I'm doing, if it makes a difference. And then I get the lighter one and just dab that here. And basically, hope for the best. <laughs> and then I put a bit of highlighter on with a mini brush because I get I run out of brushes eventually. So highlight my nose. Or else you meant to put highlighter. How are we looking? So this morning, uh, George and I filmed some content and then we also were doing the seating plan for our wedding, but we can't work out because we've counted, we've got a list of people going to a meal and then I've written down the amount of chairs <laughs> And then we tried to do it, but then we've got people left over and we don't understand where we've gone wrong. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so then we're like, right, okay, well, let's just do this another day. Because we're kind of rushing. Um, but there's not actually, other than the seating plan, I've pre-ordered some wine for everyone. Um, so other than the seating plan, there's not much to do. Like the restaurant... They're going to be sorting the rest out um, and they said they can put some dried flowers on the table so I don't mind if there isn't any flowers but I asked if they, if they did have any and they said they could put some out so I was like well why not um, so that's good in terms of wedding stuff, that's sorting itself out, it's getting really close now. I'm really busy at the moment, I've got lots of work on, which is great. Um, and quite, things that like, I saw on TikTok, of course, um, that 
this girl did her, redid her wedding makeup and she did like her eyeshadow. It wasn't heavy, but like, she brought it out in a line to here. And I didn't know that people did that. So I'm giving that a go. So you don't want it to be dark, but just to like kind of give that effect of it going like more of a cat eye, which is always the look that I'm going for. time of the day by the way um, so I feel fresh for the event <laughs> so yeah this won't be a first clean of the day I haven't waited until now to clean my teeth I have cleaned them trying different methods with our oh I also dab this I think you should do this with a beauty blender actually but try and dab everything so it's kind of blended does it work I don't know but I um just the blind Leading the blind with my makeup, non makeup skills. And it is hot, so we'll put some fix plus on. I was meant to do this for my app for my, for my mascara. Oh, that's refreshing. Yeah, this is what I've been chilling out in today. These H&M shorts, I've literally not said. This, this is a monkey bikini top and then these H&M shorts, which I haven't taken off <laughs> since I got them. They, they look creased because I haven't sat down, but they're so comfortable. I love them. Love them. They have them in blue as well, and I feel like I would also like the blue. I'm, they're re I'm really not doing them justice right now, because when they're not creased, they look great. I promise. My dress is on, and I'm just going to decide what shoes to wear with it. Um... So you could go for something like this one, or these. I need to wear socks. I need to wear socks with them. Back in. I need to wear socks with them because I um, have like got these funny white marks on my toes from wearing nail varnish for too long. Um, yeah, so I need to wear socks with those. But, oh, if I wear these, or I could paint my toenails again. You're not really meant to. But, uh, you know. Oh, these pink ones are cute, actually, and I'm not on them in ages. But then I do like... Can you see? Which ones? I do have horrible marks on my toes from the uh, from why my shoes are rubbed. Just think what socks we'd wear if we wore the, if we wore the white. I'm 
torn now. So if I like these sucks with it. What do we think? Because the dress is all white. Um, it just looks sort of really spotty on camera, but because the dress is all white and then you've got the colour on the bottom, I quite like the playfulness of it. Um, just adding a bit of silliness to the look. Is it too silly? Should I wear the pink? Sarah Brown, everyone. <laughs> we've just got to the shop now and we're gonna set up. We've got to get these tables out of the way. So I think we're gonna have stage here, seating here, and we've got a couple of hours. Backlit, sorry. We've got a couple of hours to set up, so we're doing well for time. We just did the most incredible parking space you've ever seen. The incredible park, sorry did it, not me. She did the most incredible park in her car. It was so tight but we managed to get in. Um, so it's a day for winning, that's what I'm gonna say. initial ideas I think we have a lot around fashion where it's you know it's the in colour or like oh I can't wear that shade of orange because it's you know that's not what's on trend at the moment or uh, you know things I think we're going to touch on it later but like the rules and stuff like what might go with your skin tone like yeah kind of leave all of that behind and just think about what brings you joy mm. yeah I think going back to what you said earlier about the confidence thing I was the same as you, like I remember going to school when I was younger and it was home clothes day and I bought this blazer and it was like a striped brown blazer and then I had to put a brown hoodie underneath and like it was the first time where I'd been like really excited about this outfit and I went to school and everyone really loved it and then from that moment on that kind of became my identity so every home clothes day I kind of had to live up to this person that I'd created and then I think as I, as I like went through phases and went through my emo phases and all that in school, I got more experimental and kind of probably went a bit too costumey probably with my style. But I think from doing that and from all that experimenting, I was then able to like finally find out what I really was. And I feel like my style only really clicked until I was like, 29, 30, something like that, I think. And then I really felt like, oh yeah, this is who I am. And kind of like, not so much giving into trends, yeah. even though you can dip into trends, but kind of being like, okay, I do like that and I can appreciate it, but it's not gonna fit in my wardrobe. But I think one of the, I hate it when I hear people say, oh, I could never pull that off. And that does make me feel really sad that someone doesn't have the confidence to... Because either they're saying it because they're just like, oh God, that's a bit much for me, and then that's fine, because not everyone is going to have the same sort of sense of style, and we're not all going to like the same things. But if they're generally from a place of like, oh, I don't have the confidence to wear that, then I think that's really sad. Um, and, yeah, I think like you were saying like testing the water and adding more pieces and looking around at your house or what influences you and what colors you really like because you don't have to dress like obviously i'm not here to tell you like you need to dress in bright colors you just gotta generally find joy in the pieces that you like and i think another thing for me has been like getting rid of a lot of clothes and having less choice has actually helped me feel more more confident. I'm not finding myself going out in outfits where I'm like, oh, this doesn't feel quite right. Because I used to get that a lot. You kind of get halfway through the day and be like, all of a sudden you feel uncomfortable and you're like, oh, I look awful in this. Like, why have I put this on? And I think now, as my wardrobe's got smaller, 
I'm putting things on and I feel great in them all day. Hello. I'm off to London today, so I'm just going to do my makeup. So last night went really well. Really enjoyed it. We had a good turnout. Kind of the perfect amount of people, really, I think, for the space. And I mean, people seem to enjoy it. I think we had nice feedback. And I hope we can do something again like that soon. So today in London, I've got a meeting with Sister Jane again. Then I'm heading over to Broadway Market. And then I'm meeting George because he has a gig. George, mm -hmm. what time are you going to be in London then? Um, five on the road. Okay. So yeah, that's my plan for today. But I'm just gonna do my makeup and then I'm going to catch my train. It's really warm today. So, just bearing that in mind for makeup. I didn't get any sleep last night, so I'm feeling a bit Like I'm not here. <laughs> Bit slow. What am I looking for? Put some eyeshadow on, but I've got this pro longwear pot, which I'm gonna put on. It's kind of shimmery, but I'm gonna put that on underneath so that it will hopefully make it last longer. I used to really worry when I couldn't sleep and lie there freaking out about it but now I just sort of let it happen I'm like yeah whatever I always know it's around this time of the month that I can't sleep so there's not much I've got pen on my forehead sometimes it's nice it's like well there's not much I can do about it and I'm still resting so this is what I'm wearing today got my this sister jane dress on which is really pretty i love this one i wore it for my hindu and it's one of my favorites i've got my furry clogs on <laughs> so much for coming um sincerely appreciate it it's very hot and you could have been <laughs> in a park <laughs> i don't know what people do when it's hot something involving the heat but instead you're down here so thank you very much i appreciate it um my name's george pelham married tonight comes out tomorrow Woo! let's break the internet um break tiktok <laughs> i don't know why i keep talking about tiktok but it's, it's what people talk about right um Instagram is dead. Um, Facebook, Facebook is definitely dead. Yeah. Come on, why are we joking around now? Let's break them all. Fuck it. That's got good memories. Okay. <laughs> it's my final song. <laughs> it's called Summer to Love Again. I hope you like it. Not a single 